Today's video is sponsored by you, the Room Sixers who have joined the Patreon page or purchased some of my music. Because of you, the videos will get better, and eventually, some cool things will be coming uh, your way. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today is the third of five videos from my Now What series, aimed at helping musicians navigate the landmines that come with making your passion into your business. Today's video covers a moment that can make your hard work all pay off or ruin your dreams. Signing a contract. Ah! Don't do it! We'll go over a few ways to cover your assets <laughs> and what to make sure is included before signing on the dotted line. But first, anybody got a pen? If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. The day is finally here. You've caught the eyes and ears of someone who wants to offer you a deal. Before you sign your life away, though, there's some key things you need to know. According to SonicBids.com's Matt Vilner, Watch out for contracts with an initial term lasting more than one year. By limiting the length of your contract to one year, not including option periods, you prevent a record label from effectively controlling your life and creative work for an unreasonable amount of time. Get a release commitment. Without a release commitment from the record label, you'll have no guarantees that the label will actually do the work to get your album produced packaged, and distributed to the public for sale. Make sure your royalty rate is reasonable. Some record labels prey upon unsuspecting artists by offering relatively large upfront signing bonuses, giving their artists an initial feeling of success. Watch out for hidden royalty deduction. Some record labels sneak in abhorrent and enormous royalty deductions that all but guarantee you'll never receive a royalty check. Make sure you can audit the record label on royalty payments. The typical audit provisions give the artist the ability to hire a third-party auditor to go through the record label's books and records and make sure they're paying the artist what he or she is entitled to under the contract. Obviously, this is just the tip of the iceberg when considering all the different contracts that might come your way. My best piece of advice? Get an entertainment lawyer. The grief and money they'll save you will more than make up for any initial costs. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that it was somewhat informative. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and you know be notified when you will get uh, another video, Click down here and don't forget to ring the bell. In the meantime, remember to be amazing, stay safe, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.